It's time for DevOps Party Games. You almost thought I was going to say it's time for Arrested DevOps, but it's not. It's time for DevOps Party Games. Welcome to... The same uh, silky voice. It is. It is. It is. It is. Uh, Welcome to uh, our February episode of the America's League. This is season two, episode four, because we have seasons now for reasons that I don't know. I think that was Laura's idea. Because it's the second year? At this point, I think so. Yeah, maybe we start at the at, at the year. So, uh, yeah, I am uh, one of your hosts. I'm Matt Stratton at Matt Stratton on Twitter. Joining me as always is I am Jeremy Meese. I am at I am Jared Dog on Twitter. Uh, we're glad to have you all. Uh, not only those that are uh, watching us on Twitch, but also uh, each one of our amazing uh, participants. Or I guess say contestants, but I guess we could. I say players. participants. That have joined us, players. We're both players. Uh, Before we introduce tonight. them, though, let's let's uh, kind of explain a little bit about what we're doing here tonight. Uh, in case we've got new new viewers, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're a new viewer, let's tell you what we're going to do. So, what we do here at DevOps Party Games, we play a couple, uh, as their name implies, party games, some Jackbox games, Quiplash and Drawful, but with a DevOps tech cloud type uh, type spin to them. And like Jeremy said, we have uh, with us. Eight fantastic players who are going to do everything they can to uh, work for your votes. What you'll what you'll find is once we start the games, and we'll explain this, you when you're watching here in Twitch will be able to join the audience and vote on your favorite answers. And we we sure hope that you do, because uh, this is how you can help influence the game and also crack as many jokes as you want in the chat. But do bear in mind that we do yeah. have a code of conduct, so please keep that in mind. But this we show do, is definitely. rated uh, M for Mature. But uh, and You can first... find that code of conduct at devopspartygames.com and one thing, Matt, you mentioned that you wanted people to get involved to, to help uh, vote and that each of the participants, players, will be trying to get others to vote for theirs. That's because they're trying to climb to the top of the thought leaderboard. Which uh, that's is really the all I got. That's what, that's, that's what that's all you, got there. That you got. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and introduce these players, and uh, people can stop listening to us talk for for a minute. So the first person uh, joining, returning, perhaps triumphantly, we shall find out. To DevOps Party Games is my friend and yours, Julian Dunn. Julian, welcome back to the show. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I'm Julian. Uh, I work in product marketing at PagerDuty, which is approximately as far away from AIX as you can get, and that is a good thing. <laughs> So thanks for having me again. <laughs> That's great. All right. So uh, joining us uh, tonight also is Allie Finkelstein. Allie, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Allie at Ending with Allie here on Twitch. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I work as uh, in developer relations at New Relic and I stream every weekday here on Twitch. So this is this is like my job, basically. Isn't it fantastic? It is a great job. Uh, another player joining us for the first time is uh, Gareth Greenaway. Gareth, welcome to the show. Hey, Jeremy and yeah, Matt, thanks for having me. Um, so yeah, I am Gareth Greenaway. Um, I am a uh, software developer at VMware. I work on the Salt project. Um, yeah, happy to be here. Follow me on Twitter, Gareth Greenaway, really simple. All right. And then we have Nell Shamrell Harrington. Nell, the uh, Welcome and tell us about yourself. Hello, it's fantastic to be here. I'm Nell Shamrell Harrington, uh, currently a principal engineer at Microsoft, but I used to work at Chef with a bunch of these people. So good to see you all again and thanks for having me. It's like a reunion. It, it is. I've got some comments on that at the end, but we got to get everybody introduced first. Uh, <laughs> I'm also really happy to welcome to DevOps Party Games, Tracy Holmes. Hey everybody, I'm Tracy Holmes at Tracy P. Holmes across the board. You can find me everywhere. Uh, the only thing you need to know is tonight I have the best tan out of anyone that you will see. <laughs> That's it. No arguments. Not at all. All right. And then we have uh, Nick Rykar. Nick, welcome. Hey. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm uh, Nick Rykar, product marketing at uh, BuildKite. First time, long time. And also returning triumphantly to our show is uh, Tiffany Longworth. Tiffany, I'm yeah. There's no karaoke tonight, but maybe there could be. Oh, maybe I after. can. 
<laughs> yes, yes, I can instantly start a karaoke with no notice and I can start an ignite karaoke with 60 seconds, nah, five minutes notice. Uh, so just FYI, those are my super skills. Those are great super skills. All right, and looks to be last, but certainly how it goes, not least, we have Alex Hidalgo. Alex, thanks for joining us first time. Thanks so much for having me. Um, I don't know, you introduced me last. I have a feeling I'll end up in last place and that's just fine. You know, I, uh, I work for Noble Nine, which is pronounced Noble Nine. Uh, we currently do not have any uh, money for additional vowels, but hopefully with our Series C, we can accomplish that. Uh, I really, really like SLOs, and Kat is currently mad at me about GitOps. <laughs> so uh, I've titled this episode, uh, Now We're Cooking, because I realized very unintentionally we had three uh, of our players, three uh, former chef alum. But then as Gareth was introducing himself, I'm like, well, we got Salt Stack, Tiffany's from Puppet. So this is really maybe the config management episode um, uh, uh, Hall of Fame, I That'd guess. That would be the subtext. Uh, any of you work subtext. at CF Engine ever? That would be helpful for to round this out, uh, but maybe not. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and get our players uh, going for their first game. So, players, I'll be you know sharing the uh, the screen with you so you can get started. Jeremy, why don't you explain a little bit about how Quiplash works for our audience? Yeah, yeah fan, I'd love to. All right, so Quiplash, if you've ever played any of the Jackbox games, Quiplash is probably my favorite of all of them. What will happen is each uh, participant uh, will be given a um, phrase on their screen, and they will need to answer whatever the phrase pops up with uh, something that they feel like is going to get everybody else's vote, uh, not only in the audience, which this is a great audience participation opportunity, but also the fellow player, fellow players to vote on theirs as the obvious answer to the existing question that's up there yeah. on the screen. Allie, you can go ahead and uh, put, oh, you already did good. Thank you. Okay, here we go. So what's Perfect. happening here right now, and I always forget to turn the caption part of the game on, which would be helpful, Welcome but uh, our, our players are going to start getting their prompts on their devices. And so if you're in Twitch, you can click on the little overlay icon that's probably currently hiding my face, I think, is how that's doing it to join the audience. If you don't want to do it that way, you can go to jackbox.tv and type in the room code BGPY. Uh, while while our players are getting in their prompts, BQ, BQ, BQ. Wow. Wow. Wow, Maddie. Um, if you yourself would, would like to be a, a player on uh, DevOps Party Games or you have a suggestion for a great player, you can go ahead and suggest that on our website. I just put the uh, the link to that in the chat. Uh, we 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 uh, have quite a few uh, folks who are who are new who've come in, and we're always looking for new players and suggestions. And if you are going to uh, tweet about the show, and we sure hope that you do, please use a hashtag DevOps Party Games. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's some exciting stuff. We're very excited. Like, hopefully, yeah. everything runs a little smoother. We're we're on we're on a new stack. It's not Kubernetes running the show. Although Dan uh, Frosty did ask me if we could run quiplash in a container um I don't we think could you probably can. try it one week when i, one of I our couldn't do it just try it i couldn't do it but i bet jesse frizzell has done it probably probably yeah so now each of the uh players are on the, hopefully at the way the the time splits they are on their second prompt filling those in as we have uh, 90 seconds total to enter those in um Thank you to the 10, 11 people now that have joined us in the audience. And uh, yeah, uh, this is, uh, Matt did mention, if you go out, uh, suggest player, but you can also suggest uh, prompts as you go through the game, you'll be able to suggest more uh, prompts that you might want to see on here as well. So, All right, uh, here we go, Jeremy. We got our answers in. Let's see our first uh, face off and, and see how, how we do here. In theory, there you go. Come on, Jackbox, catch up to my witty banter. Um, okay, so the most useful feature of Git is either to ops it or Git blame. Usually, that ends up being me. Um, 
this is a good time to remind everybody yeah. that pandering to the audience, yes, is a, a absolutely. Uh, and it does actually strength. influence the points, as you will see very shortly. Uh, oh, looks like Nell wow. took all of the points. Ooh. Wow. Oh. Gets extra, uh, um, extra points awesome. and got all of the audience. I'm, 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 I'm surprised it. we only had five audience votes. Like, audience, like, come on, get in here. We made it easier for you. There, you just click on a little button. Like, you don't even have to open a thing. Uh, my last commit easier message for this. real this time. That is probably 90% of my commit messages. Yep. The remaining 10% are fixed typo. Are you really surprised being the second option here on this this list, this prompt list here? We ha Oh, we do have eight audience votes this time. So that it's moving on up. I haven't actually oh, tried boy. to commit an emoji before. Is that supported? Yes. Yes, it is. <gasps> oh, I, yes. It, 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 it's going to radically change. All of our messages are going to change radically. This is this has been very. We don't usually see so no. definitive, but fixing all your problems with DNS will be yes, RMRF slash. And I did hear from. Uh, <laughs> I, I heard this new term today uh, from Cat Cosgrove actually, who is. One of our fantastic mods tonight, uh, Rimra. Has everyone else heard heard RM RF as Rimruff? No, I, that was never okay. Well, evidently that's just cat. Um, but uh, yeah, it sounds like Red uh, Rum from The Shining. It, it yeah. does Rimruff. a little bit. Rimruff. Yeah, it actually would have been I'm a sure good answer to one of my prompts. If Airbud yes. tried to be a sysadmin. It'd be Rembrandt. Yeah, Rembrandt. Rem 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 <laughs> yes, that would work. I implemented DevOps, and all I got was this lousy Jira backlog, or a t shirt is actually the best answer. T shirts are always the best answer. Speaking of t shirts, you if you'd like to order a DevOps Party Games t shirt, you can. I'm sorry, Tracy, what were you saying? I, I was going to say, I realized you introduced me really close to last, and I got no points on that earlier one. I think the same thing oh, happened to Alex, point. too. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Come uh, on, uh, audience. Let's, so let's points. let's remind the audience that we have Tracy Holmes here joining us tonight, uh, as well as I think Alex Hidalgo is also here. Uh, do not forget that they have uh, some good you know, some good uh, content to choose from. Thank you. The internet is held together using porn or one singular Ethernet cable. Those are both <laughs> the same answer, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you got some votes. Oh, wait, it's split. Wait, All didn't right. Alex go against Ali in the last one too? <laughs> that doesn't. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Who wrote this prompt? Feels good. I think this was. This might have been uh, Frosty. Yeah. So the opposite of DevOps Nirvana is that configuring ten thousand servers by hand, <laughs> or US East One. I think that's why US East One always goes down, is that all of those servers are by hand configured. Hmm. I wonder if there's con some would configuration management help that? I mean, get ops would, right? Yeah, <laughs> get ops would, right? <laughs> it's the same picture. That was a softball I lobbed to you, Alex. Thanks for finally, finally, you know, getting that. I wonder what the that split might get on... your. Uh... <laughs> I wonder what the split on those choices were between dev folk and ops folks. Ooh. Oh, oh, <laughs> that if only we knew. We'll have to add Google <laughs> Analytics to this, so that way we can uh, a daily S3 that leak. That's pandering to the Corey Quinn in the audience, right there. Don't kid <laughs> <laughs> <Don't get> yourself; <laughs> he's probably already tweeting it somewhere else. <laughs> is Jules Julian? It is. Okay. Yes. Just, yeah. Okay. Describe so DevOps you to your dog. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when your poop gets stuck? <laughs> arf 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 arf. Rimrarf. Rimrarf, yeah. <laughs> huh. Tubitary in the chat says configuration management is just yelling at whoever touched it last. Too real. Too real. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Audience. Uh, audience. Audience favorite. You can influence. The, <laughs> you split the points there. And that was round one. Let us never speak of it again. A lot more dogs right. in the audience. Jill Wolner's here. Says that Rikard gets her. Hi, Jill. Mm. Wave to Jill. He last place, just as I predicted. Ah, and but right there are, there's two more rounds, oh, this and the points the double. Round. So basically, the first round doesn't matter. <laughs> the really Alex gets serious already, as the game just said, get serious already. This animation is really uncomfortable. 
Yeah. <laughs> Has any, does anyone else see how uncomfortable this is? Um, which one, the dancing baby? Or the vortex? No, the pulsating green <laughs> spiral. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, it's always uncomfortable, though. Uh, Dixie, uh, Cat says, uh, it looks like a butthole. It is a butthole, Allie. Yeah. This is what Cat says. So it is. It is. Definitely. All right. So, uh, to remind you, I think Matt mentioned earlier, you can also, uh, if you want some t-shirts, we've started to do some t-shirts on some of these just awesome prompts. We'll be adding some more. You can go out to devopspartygames.com slash store. And you can get a t-shirt. There's some great ones already. Uh, we need to do some more. I keep dropping the ball on that, so that's on me. Maybe we'll have some good ones from Drawful tonight. Maybe. Maybe. We also... Uh, and swag. Yes, this channel yeah. has it all. You're right, Glenn. We do. We do. All the things. Uh, we, uh, If you haven't uh, discovered this before, starting in this season... We uh, we now run the game twice a month, once in uh, more America's friendly time zone and then once in a more uh, EMEA friendly time zone. And that next episode for the will be an EMEA episode, which is uh, Tuesday, the March 16th or 16 March, as our EMEA friends would say. But uh, hold on to that thought. I'll explain our real next episode in a minute. But if it ain't broke, don't do this. Migrate it to Kubernetes or perform percussive maintenance. Is it, but don't you have to perform percussive maintenance by hitting it in order to get it to migrate? I was having a problem with in my, my furnace my... yesterday, and that's what uh, uh, Aaron Aldrich told me to do to it. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it usually works. Is percussive maintenance oh. on cloud servers air drumming? Somebody will. That well I did done better that time. And Alex, that's how you do it. <laughs> well, my Double points. Was bad the first round. Woke up right. Uh, it's we'll a poor carpenter prompts. that blames his prompts. Alex. It's either <laughs> DNS or the prompts. Like it's always the DNS. The first or the thing I learned about DevOps is they're not actually talking about this. <laughs> Uh, my cousin is an actual puppeteer who lives in Portland. And when I was explaining what I did when I worked at Chef, and I said, "Oh, you might have heard of Puppet. They're local." And she goes, "I fucking hate Puppet because every time she's looking for." Puppet jobs in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I know That's Puppet Labs. Awesome. Yeah. Tiffany, yeah. well done. I have disappointed more people on buses wearing chef uh, swag <laughs> than... Uh, <laughs> DevOps. 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 DevOps without yeah. caffeine is it's like, like sandpaper, sandpaper on, your on your butthole. Coffee without Ooh. caffeine. Uh, it's, like wow. diet, it's like Diet Coke without caffeine. That would just be caffeine. DevOps and party games. Isn't that is not isn't brought that to Coke you by Diet Zero? Coke. That's and, that Coke no Zero Coke Zero has sugar. caffeine. Oh. As my mother sugar. discovered, because my mother doesn't drink caffeine, <laughs> but she was drinking Coke Zero and was like, "Oh, it has no caffeine." I'm like, "Mom, you had four of these tonight. You're not going to sleep for three weeks." So. <laughs> oh, but the audience, audience pulled it for you, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> but jokes pulled always win. <laughs> The audience well, that one out of the, the audience take it away. Title of a Teletubbies episode about DevOps. <laughs> Scary <laughs> safe agile framework or Tinky Winky's deployment plan. I, I, I might have seen watch these. the Tinky Winky's deployment plan. I, I probably know somebody that would fit that Tinky Winky deployment plan. So this is just kind of Tinky Winky's deployment plan. <laughs> I'm, I'm making a slideshow called Tinky Winky's deployment plan. I'm making it happen. <laughs> That there was well, Gareth, well, well Gareth done, pulls Gareth. the audience favorite there. And the yeah, player. I know your audience. That's right. Teletubby fans. Yeah, evidently. What would what you is say it you that you'd here? say <laughs> you do here? You should post on Twitter or check the variable files over and over. There's no difference? Wait. Yeah. And over. Is that not my job? <laughs> um, Wait. I yes. literally thought that's my job. Right. here. You're, you're like, I didn't get the joke. I thought we were just, you know putting in our LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah, literally, like endorse me for shit posting on LinkedIn. Yeah. We I think somebody shit tried posting that on point. LinkedIn is a very specific skill of which Pete Cheslock yes. I think is the is the winner of that one. Pretty close. So uh moving right along. Yeah. Audience? Oh, uh, Jessica just Davida's in the audience. In Hi there. Jessica. Hey. We got all sorts of fun people tonight. <laughs> I'm excited. 
Uh, forget the cloud, we're moving everything to Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> These are not the same, even though you think they might be. They are not the same. Well, I don't know. Is Someone's an That was for the there. benefit. That was Honest? giving the benefit of the dat, Matt. Everybody knows they are. That was just. <laughs> there you go. See, Tra Tracy and that. Alex came coming back in round two. Yep. You well know. done. Well done, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> so, audience, we have uh, 33 that are watching us on on DevOps uh, on, on Twitch. Dev what? On, on DevOps, it's it's gonna <laughs> that's gonna be the next thing. So HTML, yeah, HTML fuck you is a programming you. language. You're right. That is, is a that's HTML six, not HTML five. HTML six will be uh, HTML fuck you. Uh, but yeah, audience, make sure you join and there we go. Help. They're voting. We're seeing the votes pile there up. Is. Yep, there you go. Eleven. Can we get twelve? Twelve. Right here. Twelve. No. All right. Oh, yeah. well done, Mo well done, Moon Rock Alley. Although I, I <laughs> corn, corn shell. I mean, I'll get you there. You know. That is yeah. It is a programming language. My strategy for winning DevOps party games. <laughs> Bribery or send each audio Wait, audience member a sticker. I didn't know same that thing. Heidi Waterhouse was playing tonight. Wait, aren't these both the same thing? <laughs> yeah. Yes. They're just, they one the is difference. more specific. So audience, Bribery you can influence cash. this one. Cold hard cash. <laughs> I met her because of her True. stickers at a conference. That's yeah. the bad part about it. Oh. Yes. That's the best. That's the thing I want to tell you. The thing I miss most about conferences is Heidi sitting at a table covered in stick i mean the table covered in stickers yeah nicely arranged and just yeah. in her hand and just go whoosh and they just yeah. appear all over the table oh it's it's a thing of beauty i opened some well envelopes done. earlier today and i forgot how many charity major stickers i'm currently sitting on it's like <laughs> hundreds and hundreds <laughs> once, once right. she has your address she just keeps sending them so let's all see right what we are we've Something had some upsets here. i think uh, yeah oh alex oh. with that has oh, jumped nice. from alex. Last i i i wrote I, I, i'm so bad at this all right the so. boomerang yeah <laughs> Uh, so right, for so the final the round, 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 there's it's a little bit different, right? So you're going to get, just like it says, you're going to get a prompt that has three answers. And a good structure is like something clever, something, do a little bit of a build. You're going to get one prompt, players, uh, not two this time, but it will be something that has uh, an element of three answers to it. And do that as you will. And you've got 80 seconds to build this up. So you've got plenty of time to really kind of come up with that cutting edge uh, building joke. If you've ever wanted to kind of build a joke, this is the time. All right. So as this is happening, Matt, what do we have? Uh, for our, win for we our have winners, we them? have nothing. We have a thought leaderboard. We don't give away we prizes. Thought leaderboard. The thought leaderboard. You can also go to devospartygames.com. Check out the thought leaderboard at the top. Uh, if you scroll down to the bottom is where you have those options for um, suggesting a player or suggesting a prompt. You can also join the mailing list to get informed about upcoming episodes. If you don't follow us on the Twitters at, uh, at DevOps Party Game, because Twitter sucks, at <laughs> names. So why would you want to just do it? Just go to DevOps Party Game on Twitter. And you can follow us or use the hashtag hashtag devos party games and get around that limitation but it doesn't really help you because you can't follow that all right getting close to the end 10 seconds left for the players we'll have to push you and this pulsing purple butthole <laughs> yes yes oh we got them all in well done all right <laughs> So, three underrated benefits of feature branches are the bury the features nobody wants, fix bugs and hold them hostage. I like that. I, I, you know. Keep CEO I, I, from pushing to main. <laughs> entertaining branch names or application archaeology. I, I do like entertaining branch names. Yes. What's your, hey, in the chat, what's your favorite branch name you've ever seen? Like and subscribe. Which is Damn. a great opportunity to say, go ahead and follow us on Twitch for notification whenever we do go live in future episodes. Mm -hmm. Hit that. Okay. Smash that. Oh, button. oh yeah. Okay. I may bet the audience. Oh, it was tight, but Julian took it. And I think it's the varying features. Uh, three things that Matt yeah. says the most on DevOps Party Games. Puppet. Fuck. Cat is modding. Be careful. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pretty close. 
That's actually usually what it, I tell my both, kids when they watch, because I'm pretty sure the only people that have ever been banned uh, <laughs> in the chat are Matt's have a kids. Game for my kids, yeah. That should definitely tell you something. Uh, but both of these are true. Matt, Matt uses a lot of puns, pop culture references, uh, and talks about puppet and fuck, fuck a lot. Did I say fud? Oh. Fuck a lot. Yes. Well done. Thanks for Tracy. laughing, Tiffany. Thank yeah. you for laughing. Yeah. Okay. Tracy's Three surprising that things out. that our security audit found. Raccoons. Corey is still talking. <laughs> and enlightenment. <laughs> like there is only one answer here. What was the... I, I think it was a couple episodes ago when... Oh, I can't remember what Corey said. And Tim Banks was just he's like... Fuck you, Corey Quinn. Shut it had up. to do with like father jokes, didn't it? No, it was, it was like, where jokes? he said it was going to be a Quinn side joke if we kept oh, targeting Oh, that's him. right. Yes. <laughs> and Tim just goes, "Yeah, Corey Quinn, fuck you. And it was amazing. Yeah. I feel like Go father away. jokes are very different from dad jokes. Just yeah. They just... are. Yeah. I don't know why I said father <laughs> jokes. Uh, three sides of the DevOps apocalypse are her. TNS is down, AWS fails. Oh, wait, that's Tuesday. <laughs> DevSecOps, <laughs> DevSecOps, get FinOps. Uh, yes? I'm going to go start DevSec, get FinOps days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, the audience is going to decide this one. Oh. No. Thank you, audience. Thank you. <sighs> Well, and Wait, this we brings got paired us. Up again. This is there's something shady happening here. I don't know, but let's see how we end up here. And our winner is Gareth. Gareth but... pulls it out. All right, Gareth. Excellent, excellent. Well done. Well done. Um, if uh, you are uh, in the game here, you actually can. Um, go ahead and uh, there's going to be a link we'll want to pull that has like the quips so if anybody grabs that link that would be amazing uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to our next game which is drawful so players I'm going to go ahead and, and go to that screen you'll you'll stay in your same jackbox.tv um, you might have to reload uh, to, to switch over um, again Ali's the uh, VIP Yep. Did somebody uh, uh, did somebody uh, grab that link? I hope. Well, whatever. I threw it in the Discord. Oh, perfect. That's okay, that's all I you. needed, my thank friend. You. Perfect. So then all I right. Can... So as we're going through this, uh, you will see very shortly uh, a avatar that each uh, player will have uh, drawn to depict themselves for the game. Uh, what Drawful is is they will be presented with a prompt. And they will have to draw it uh, to the best of their ability, which uh, probably is better than what my ability would be, uh, most definitely. But they will be able to draw it, and then everybody again will be picking uh, which one is best. Uh, we will note that uh, as the audience members will find, or as you audience members will find out, there is no erase button. And there is only two colors. So you will see potentially some uh, draw, uh, some uh, drawers, some pictures that have been uh, overuse of colors instead of an erase. Totally forgot right. there was no, no erase button. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you found that out in drawing your avatar. And you remember yes, before drawing the, the actual picture. Um, Allie, go ahead and start. Oh, you already did. You're on top of it. Good job. Like I have ESP in or something. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent avatar there, <laughs> Tiffany. Yeah, that, that's amazing. Knocks it out of the park. Uh, I'm a little nervous about this competition there. Yeah, that was some good drawing. Sets the bar real high. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nope, no apology needed. <laughs> Actually, we played a game. I I traditionally am like the worst at this game. Uh, my drawing is uh, like a its own version of a you know Rorschach painting uh, is my my drawing. However, we did a practice of this and I actually won, which I think at some point probably proves the apocalypse is upon us. Don't forget, you can still join the 
could be. Nobody is saying no, so yeah. Well, everybody's okay. very busy drawing right now, Jeremy. It's this okay. Is, this is a busy thing. It's okay. So all audience, uh, make sure you go and join. Uh, the audience is at uh, jackbox.tv and SOFX is the code for the to join the audience. As Kat uh, said, it's almost no in. FX. It's Matt, so gonna, FX. Matt, you're going to fuss at me for right. this first Tuesdays one. Tuesdays on Nickelodeon. Oh, good. <laughs> I, Tuesdays on Nickelodeon. I forgot. Oh, it's okay. Okay. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's Pat Mike's Linker so Baseband. All right. Yeah. So as Matt said, uh, oh. also for those that are watching this, I yes. can't believe that we did a round of quiplash and we didn't talk about the fact that we used to get inappropriate prompts for the third round in quiplash too. Like Frosty is going to be very upset that I didn't say the same damn thing I say every single time. Um, so things we're evolving as a show. We have new jokes. We're now learning. we talk about every that. It time, looks like a butthole. Uh, we're iterating. We're iterating. Uh, Continuous improvement, continuous. Funny. <laughs> yeah. It is pretty meta, though, that you didn't say the thing that you always say in the segment that you made one of the questions, what's a thing I always say? I was thinking that. Yes. Okay. Oh, give it time. Here we give come. Here we come with It'll our first happen. prompt. Uh, audience, our audience members, go ahead and put your guesses in the chat. That's totally, uh, totally a thing that can happen. Um, reminder to Jeremy. Do not say what you think things are because you know what the actual answer is. Well, what's funny <laughs> about that is that this did happen once at a previous game, and I actually had did not know what the prompt was or had forgotten mm. what the prompt was. This happens mm. quite often. We forget what they are. And I just said, which is often the case for me, I said the first thing that popped into my head. Uh, generally, that doesn't go well for me. Uh, and it did not on that game. Uh, so I'm going to like not say what I think this looks like. Um, the way you started that, I really thought you were going to say, no, this is actually how we deployed stuff uh, <laughs> a couple jobs ago. That could also uh, be true. That also could be true considering where I worked a couple I'm, times ago or in, in the past. Well, let's say a couple, we'll say, we'll say in the past. Here are your choices. Okay. What do we have here? Um, oh yeah. Okay. Now I remember this one. AWS uh, these are all pretty good, rocket. Pendium 2 CPU overclocking failure. I did, yes, I've had that happen. <laughs> Container running in Azure Cloud. DNS, dumpster fart. Like, I guess, I mean, yeah. Or Docker in space. There's some, some good ones here, actually. I'm kind of like... The there's no, there was no, uh, you know, Mars landing stuff in there. So, you know, that's topical. You got to play to the news, peeps. And I apologize for saying peeps. I don't know how that happened. But you say peeps all the time. I so do not. You I so guarantee. Do. I, I, will I will go bet back you through, money. Go I find go it. You back won't. through this, and I guarantee you, you will have mm. said peeps. Mm -mm. Unless we're talking about marshmallows. And it's, so, as, yeah. as, as, as. Cat just affirmed it. Except that you're an old Maddie, you say peeps. You say peeps. You say peeps. All right. Let's see. Case. Oh, Pentium 2 CPU overclocking failure. Julian got uh, got Alex with that one. So well done. Uh, the AWS Magnetron rocket, which is a service name. Uh <laughs> yes. Because of course it is. Docker, Docker in, in space, space is which option. is the actual answer. Yes, it is. Well, well done, drawn, Tiffany. Tiffany. Sorry, it occurred to me after it came out of my face that I shouldn't say how you deploy. Nah, it's... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. probably fine. That's about what we did at Sprint 15 years ago. What is it? All right. It's the best See, part about See, I was actually kind of right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. This is too obvious for what it looks like for me to think I got the answer right. So did you, what is what you put in? Did it say it was the answer? Because if you got it right, it would tell no. you. No, 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 okay. no, no. I, I, it's like what it looks like to me is very clearly what it looks like to me, but like I'm still a DevOps baby. Therefore, 
this it's, to me it's is an probably... ashtray on fire flambe cheesecake is an ashtray is a choice out there yeah oh an yep. and and our simpsons ops friends uh, yep. say the great springfield tire fire because brand is a thing now one thing uh, as we're finishing up here we do have a discord uh channel for all the talk about the games and oh, uh, favorite episodes. this is the problem when everybody has a similar idea because which one is yeah. it? if if it is like uh setting all our pennies on fire would be an amazon alexa isn't the tire fire domain? Isn't that the one that rotates between things like pictures of Cheslock and other other related things? Um, if sorry, it if isn't, kinda... it should be. Yeah. And I'm gonna go. I have I have registered more domains out of DevOps Party Game episodes. Okay, I have to say that was freaking amazing because I just ran the Cheslock bot that is like random, and it randomly did the the message that's about tire fire. That couldn't have been. Sorry for whoever put that in because I just did sort of ruin that. That's not the answer, obviously, but that was kind of amazing. And here are your picks. Yeah, that is fantastic. So we have tire fire. You got oh, good good score there, Tracy. Good pull. Or or tire fire. Oh, tire fire. But really, right. it is on call rotation. On call rotation. Wow, going a little <laughs> meta there, Alex. It, it works against you in this so game. So obvious. Come yeah. on, everyone. It, did, it didn't help. It didn't so, help. Allie, what did you think it was? What was your? I you... literally thought it was tire fire, and I was like, "This oh, is yeah. too okay." I was like, "Maybe there's some like DevOps joke that I'm not in yet, like this tire dot fire thing." Okay, that's that. But this, excuse me, <laughs> on call rotation. Okay. It, was a it is a tire fire. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, have you been on an on call? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I am just a lowly, I'm just a lowly developer relations. I sleep when I need to. Right. Hey, you should be. Whoa. Wow. Um, yeah. Yeah, I... yeah. Okay. So we'll move past that one. <laughs> there, because there's, there are some that believe, and I would, I would agree with this, that, uh, uh, DevRel should definitely be a part of your uh, um, incident responses. No, you should be if the product you are DevRelling for is related to incident response. Uh, that's, yes, <laughs> I, yes, I don't that's believe. What, yes, my, like if you apologies. work at PagerDuty, like yes, I might. I would have, agree. But, yeah. Yes. I also think that product managers at PagerDuty should be on call, Julian. Oh, that'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah, oh, I would. Well, you know, actually, I would not be sad to do it on call. Well, product owners at PagerDuty you make say that amazing now. incident commanders. It's a really good story, actually. Um, but okay, what is it? Bun is it a tarball? Is it Beepus? Hmm. Fruit Yamu? Bug snag? <laughs> uh, bug snag. I was on an on-call rotation once at Sprint and proceeded to just sleep through five phone calls so that was, was in one of my talks, angry. Jeremy. I had asked on Twitter, like, what was a good self care right. thing? And Jeremy's that's, thing that's was right. to let your cell phone battery sleep die. Sleep right through it. Sleep through everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh, it's uh, that was, the chat. That was at, uh, lol. Yeah. That was at, uh, um, uh, that was at the scale of scale 17. Yep. Jobs yep. failing. I, I, I always like the answers that end in the question mark. Yes. Oh, no, investigating the audit findings. It looks a little bit like like one of those like uh, when you put your belongings in a handkerchief over a pole because you're going to run away or whatever. That's the middle, and yeah. it doesn't look like that to me. Okay, well, I <laughs> <laughs> I tried that once. Everything kept falling out, so I just stayed home. I smell. And the oh, pair programming. So, oh, I, know, uh, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, so my dog oh. came and started looking at me like I'm hungry. And I'm like, uh -huh. okay, let me hurry up and try to draw something. Oh, crap. Yeah. I love oh, I you jumped the ahead of Tiffany there. <laughs> I All literally, right. I was in like such a sweating state of like, maybe I said the wrong thing because I know I said the wrong thing. I forgot what I wrote and I was like, who wrote Beavis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. Okay. 
Is that an Animal Crossing server wreck? Oh, so Tracy, I have to tell you, like we're talking, we're sourcing dog names um, for which granted we're not getting a dog till the fall, but my kids are already starting to Google Doc. Mm -hmm. And one of the leading name ideas is Gambit. So. Are you gonna suggest to your kids that they let the internet decide? No. Okay. I'm, this is not my. Right. Okay. Do you want to hear my like dog one of my favorite dog face? Okay. I've always wanted to get a dog, um, and one of the contending dog names is Sponge. I think it's a beautiful name. I think it's. Alex just gave me the Good weirdest band look. From the 90s. <laughs> Sponge. Good band from the nineties. Yep. I, I will say that one of my eleven year old sons did say, Why don't we name the dog Kubernetes? And I swear to God I'm not making that up. And then <laughs> I was like, I Well, co- it could work. He could he could be it. Kubi, like Scooby, Kubi. Uh let's see. No brain function. One of it's my a- coworkers, her cat's named Pearl, and the other one is named um Jam? I think it's like Pearl and Ruby. P E R L. Who uh, of course. I knew somebody, somebody other cats were named Point and Click. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Isn't there somebody in the community who has a cat named Auk? I feel like uh-huh. it sounds like a thing. If yeah, that's there's Auk and Sed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Bet, I bet Scott yeah. Hayne has yeah. cats named awesome. <laughs> Yeah, Probably. I remember in college, this there is... were these three brothers whose parents were both physicists, and so their parents named them Quantum this. Quark and Quasar, and I think that, like, these are real people. Yeah. That just takes the cake. I knew a girl in college. Her name was Cayenne, and her sister's name was Cinnamon. And then she married a man with the last name of Schwindemann, so she became Cinnamon Schwindemann. I like that answer, Tracy. Ugh. Back in my very first job, like I used to do uh, network security, and uh, I worked with a dude named Tommy Thompson and a guy named John Johnson. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) both. I. I just want to take no, a minute and like, give uh, a little shout out to Tracy's Rack My Brain, because I think that's that was pretty that good. That was good. <laughs> that was good. That better have gotten some good likes there, my friends, or else this whole game is rigged. Um, what do we got here? It is Coming not. What it's is not it? rigged. And now, this one. Is Hodel like Hodor? You don't want to know, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I've, seen Hodel. I've seen Hodel somewhere. Big question is, have you been on Reddit recently? (laughs) Please, no. I think someone from the show followed me. So if you followed me on Twitch, thank you. It just Uh Yes, everybody go follow follow Allie. (laughs) Sorry. She has has OKRs around this, probably. (laughs) Maybe. But like, literally, it just came up on my screen because I'm using OBS. And like, my my notif Uh popped. I was like, who is it? I can't see it. So if you followed me, thank you. You should you should add to your uh, pictures there something about following you. Oh, really? really? So, okay. there, why, yeah, did, where have you been, Jeremy? And here are your choices. I, I, that okay, was on. I, I, it was there you're already. Right. It was there before. I'm just making sure. I take that it, it off, goes but I back. put it back on. Yeah. So what is this, uh, Jeremy? Stonks? You realize when you keep talking, when Allie's talking, no one's going to actually see what she put on her video because it won't switch. To this that. is what I put on my video. Hello, this is my video. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Gang. <laughs> Technology. Hey, look, there's Allie. <laughs> ah. <laughs> She's in Delaware. Okay, that was that's the part hey, where I understood that reference. Again. Yeah, I know, I know. Cat's gonna be like, all right, you're such an old. Wait, people are actually following me. Thank you. <laughs> your name. <laughs> Whatever, it's right there. <laughs> oh wait, Ashton said, "What's what's? It's ending with Allie, right, Allie? Yeah, at ending yeah. with Allie. <laughs> there we go. Cat's on it. GameStop. Stock ops. Stock ops. That's DevSec Finn Biz Ops. There you go. Stonks. That should be a prompt. Why isn't it? I, I don't know. It's not like you don't have Bitcoin DevOps. Oh. 
This is like, they and were wait, mining. Allie, I almost feel like, did you get this one before? <laughs> like Me? the last time? Like, because I remember someone who has had it before was like, how the hell are you supposed to draw that? No, uh, this was I one actually of the felt early. Very... That was one of the early ones. I actually felt very qualified to draw this as someone who has worked in the crypto space at, at one point. I was like, okay, very easy. The stocks <laughs> go up and you have <laughs> servers and mining picks. Easy. <laughs> what? They're cake pops. It's like Starbucks. Cake pops. I, I don't know who got this one, but I'm just going to point out drawing is hard. It's really, really hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is hard. Thanks, thanks for helping whoever wrote this. Or drew this uh, to feel better, Gareth. Players cat yeah, would like to I know mean, if she should make a daiquiri or a whiskey sour. Daiquiri. Whiskey sour. Both. Why not both? That's right. Here are your choices. Gareth's trying. <laughs> <laughs> hot, tub, hot tub time machine learning. Good. Oh. Mob programming. I am curious. Uh, well, okay, oh. I, I can't say it. I can't say it till like it counts down because I, I was going to ask a the question about what someone wrote, month. but it'll give it away. Trio ball something. Oh. Hot tub time yeah. machine learning. That's brilliant. Mythical man. Like month, now month, that month, I, I see I'm the prompt, now that I think I see the prompt, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, this makes total sense. Yeah. <laughs> so it's whoever did hot Starbucks hot birthday cake machine. prompt, did you do that before I said cake? Pops. I started typing it before you said it. Okay, that's amazing. I do like the uh, Good job um, now. It was good. The hot tub time machine learning. Is, Thank you. It's pretty amazing. Wait, I need to see who did hot tub time machine learning. I, 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 yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> you got some some good likes for that, but the cake pops pulled in a lot of the likes. Oh no, I'm so. in third place again. Oh, but well see, but you also get points for for likes, so you know okay. it's. Uh, and now, what drawing. is it? Uh. Okay. So don't forget, while we're here, if you feel like uh, you would love to be a part of future. DevOps party games, and you're watching this, or even if you're just watching the replay that gets posted, uh, you should uh, go out to devospartygames.com and go to the uh, suggest a player prompt at the bottom, or click the link in the Twitch chat that Matt has put in there, and you can, uh, yeah, put your name down. Or if you think you can do better at the prompts, there's an option for that too. Hey, people who know things about Twitch, um, are tags a thing that I should pay attention to besides just the category? Okay. Does that help? Is Here that useful? I just see. I never even realized that was there, and it's in front of me right now. So, I put some tags down, like programming, yeah. whatever. Like the, you Tag can't, all like, the make your own. You can't. You can't oh, so there is own. no. You couldn't put like shit posting as a tag. That might actually be a tag, but I can't put I like developer. I've tried to put developer, and it doesn't let me. Maybe it'll let you. It'll let you do science and technology. No results found for shit posting. Yeah. This Jay Leno running on arm is a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good take on uh, what it actually looks like. Oh, it does. Yeah. Have you heard about this? A language server? <laughs> of course, I got. Is there a though. thing as a happy Rust compiler? Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> there is. It takes a while yeah. to get it, but there is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Who was the... I was looking the other way. Who did the Jay Leno one? That was me. That was it, just, nice. it spoke to me. Yeah. <laughs> it did. It spoke to me, too. And that pushes us to... I think we're almost at the uh, end here. Rykar is leading. Yeah, this might be the oh, might be more. the last one. I, I didn't know Corn that. Beef. I'm hungry now. Then Harvey was a prompt. <laughs> 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 uh, 
It does look like I like how uh, Martini Soft in the chat says Twitch still has fun bugs with their suggested algorithm. It'll recommend your own stream to you while you're streaming it. <laughs> Being smart. And Twitch is owned by Amazon. Suspicious. <laughs> okay. mm, go figure. I feel like at this point in the game, I've given up. <laughs> I don't even like my answers. Do not <laughs> give up. Yes. Well, now you play for hard. likes, like, because that's the other thing, because you'll get points for right. likes and being right, and they both count towards the thought leaderboard. So that's another way to play is like to be like, I'm not going to try to get it right, but I'm going to post something, I'm going to put one in that's really funny, and then I'll get lots of likes. So I like the strategy. <laughs> Your manager preaching self care. <laughs> I mean, Cabbage Head. Just... I, I think Cabbage Head is my new name for Nathan Harvey. The most... Is what I'm getting out of yeah, this. Oh. <laughs> and, and he it's, won't even it's know the why. The most obvious. Break down these silos if I didn't have this cabbage for a head. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. You, you got you got you got one, Alex. The Nathan Harvey fanboy, which is inside all of our our hearts, probably. Yeah. We'll have to send that to him later. So people. Rykar, you know. Oh, I is know, that why you said? I'm, yeah. I'm. Yep. yep. I'm texting him right now. Literally <laughs> right now. I am. <laughs> well done. And the answer was DevOps Advocate. Shut well down. done, Nell. And, I and realized that brings us... I, I completely forgot the rule not to use words. So oh, no, you can use words. Just that was like fine. if you had written that was fine. DevOps or doesn't. something. Oh. Yeah. So Rykar, right. but let's, let's, let's see really who was the most popular because we all know that's what really matters. It's all about likes. And it was Gareth. Gareth. Uh, sorry, I, 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 not to be, I sound like an asshole being so surprised <laughs> that it was Gareth. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's, it's the most nice liked, thing. Gareth. Wait, All right, somebody in, please grab the uh, grab the third. links there if they can. Make sure you grab the links. And put those in the Discord well so that way we can share them. Thank you, everybody, for uh That was really close. Uh, us. Hey, right look. Oh, it's now, working. Though. It's working. Sorry. Art the the, the, oh, the that's little right. scrolls working. That's it didn't work last time. Um that was really the only reason I was excited about the show tonight was to see if this worked. <laughs> uh it's true. He was he said at the very beginning he hoped that it was gonna work. But thank you to all you people who joined us and especially to our players and especially to our mods and especially to all of you. Um but at, the, at this point, so I started to allude to this and then I forgot. Uh we did say that the next DevOps Party Games is going to be uh, 16th of March in the EMEA, but actually that's not technically true. We'll be running a special edition of DevOps Party Games as a part of DevOps Days Texas, and that DevOps, Day, DevOps Days the DevOps Days will be on uh, March 2nd and March 3rd. Uh, the DevOps Party Games will be at 4.30 Central Time on March 2nd. If you haven't already registered for uh, DevOps Days Texas, go to devopsdays.org slash Texas and fix that like now um i know tracy now. is speaking there um jeremy and i are but you're probably more interested to hear tracy talk than us uh yes i mean that's just true um but does anybody else any of our players do you have anything to uh to share to plug uh anything you want to tell people about that you're doing that's awesome or you know just okay thank you if the Rust followed... Foundation has no. been established. If you're in, and I'm on the board. If you're interested in learning more, reach out to me. If you ever yeah. invite me back, just invite me for the first half of the show, because I figured that part out. I didn't quite figure the second part out. Same. Thanks a couple times. <laughs> this is my third time. Playing. Um. So so Nell Cat is is says hello. I am interested in learning more. So y'all should. Yeah, reach out to me on Twitter. Yeah. Or in our uh, Discord. Or anyone else have anything uh, they want to pump? Hype. Pump? 
It plug. Oh, pump up Magic jam, pump. like pump hype. <laughs> Um, I have a conference tomorrow called Hacking. They with want the to homies. have another. Wait, no, no, let's say that again. Tristan. Hacking with the homies. Hacking with the homies. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing nice. A talk tomorrow. Nice. Uh, and then I have DevOps Day, DevOps Days Texas, and then I've got Open Source One Hundred and One. So, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know about these things because that's the only way I'm keeping up with dates right now. <laughs> <laughs> I endorse using your Twitter stream as your own day planner and sketch and calendar keeper. This is a smart idea. People know my schedule better than I do. <laughs> that's big brain well with that uh, thanks again to everybody who joined us thanks to our mods, thanks to our audience, thanks to our players thanks to my co-host Jeremy and we will uh, you, see you all on the internets bye everybody bye